and making its way through North Carolina right now. We're going to be here until Dorian leaves our state. Let's check in with CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy live in Wilson County. And Kelly, there was quite a bit of damage done to a property. Where are you now and what are you seeing? Well, right now we're actually in downtown Goldsboro. We're right outside of their emergency operations center, and the weather is worsening here. I just want to give you a look. The winds are really starting to pick up. We're seeing some pretty heavy rain here, and we've been just kind of monitoring the conditions, but this is probably the worst that it's been here so far. Now, I want to, we're joined right now by Joel Gilley. He is the Wayne County Public Information Officer. Now, talk to me. You guys actually have a curfew going on right now. Talk to me a little bit about that and why you felt you needed to put that in place. Yeah, you'll notice, I mean, we're down down, downtown Goldsboro right now and there's not a lot of traffic. That curfew started at 9 and goes till 6 a.m. Really just to get traffic off the roads. We're expecting the brunt of the storm around 11 on. So we don't want people out endangering their lives and then in turn endangering the lives of our first responders that may be out on the roads uh, tonight. So that's why we do the curfew. It's, it's not to keep anyone uh, cooped up in the house any more than we want to, but it's really just for safety. And if you're heading to or from work, you're okay. Um, I understand there was a possible tornado that came through. Talk to me about some of the damage that you've seen so far. Yeah, we've confirmed that damage in our EOC. We're, of course, waiting for the National Weather Service to confirm it. But uh, we saw some vehicle damage, some home damage, fences down uh, kind of in the southern end of our county. So waiting, uh, hopefully tomorrow, the National Weather Service will be down and tell us what it was. Have you guys had any reported injuries from that? No, nope, no injuries. So that's, uh, that's always what we want out of any kind of incident. That's definitely good news. Now, as we were coming up here just a few blocks away, we noticed some lights out, some traffic lights out. What are the power outages like now in Wayne County? The last uh, report that I heard, we had about 600 outages, and that comes from all of the utilities uh, here in the county. Uh, that number could have gone up. Like we said, the, the conditions are getting worse. And uh, you can tell just since you've been here, it's gotten much windier, um, much more windy. So. Yeah, I mean, as that wind comes in, that rain continues to come down, we're going to still see more power outages overnight. Uh, but at only about 600 right now is what we heard last, so not, not terrible yet. Okay, and you guys are in the EOC right now. Talk to me about what kind of things you're doing to check on the damage, what kind of preps you had to do. Absolutely. Our EOC activated this morning at 8 a.m. fully, so we're staffed 24-7 until the emergency is over. Uh, we are under a state of emergency. We have two shelters open. At last check, we had about 100 people sheltered. Uh, and so, yeah, this morning it was getting the shelters open, making sure people were taken care of in all the shelters. We've got great community partners, the city of Goldsboro, a lot of the municipalities are partners of ours, uh, as well as we've got an Air Force base here, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. So we have someone in our EOC from the Air Force Base, uh, and that's a great resource for us. We have the National Weather Service on the phone, but we also have meteorologists with the Air Force that help us out as well. So kind of helps us for tracking uh, effects right here in Wayne County. So we've been monitoring it. Uh, we'll be here until the, uh, until the storm's over. Thank you so much for your time, Joel. Again, we're here in downtown Goldsboro. The wind's really starting to pick up, but we haven't seen pretty much any cars on the road, so that means their curfew is working. That'll be in place until 6 o'clock this morning, and that is mandatory unless you have to go to work. So if you are out on the road, you could be charged with a misdemeanor, and it's really for everyone's safety out there tonight. So for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Reporting live in Goldsboro, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News. All right, great advice there, too. Yep. Okay, we're getting a better picture.